All right, welcome to the Keep IT Unit 1 specimen paper for the new syllabus that's examinable from 2022. This is the new syllabus, so I'm going through all of the questions, but this one, this one is a little different because we have the actual specimen answer, so I'm going to go through the paper, answer each question, and then after each question, go through the specimen answers to see how they match up, so you can see how they mark, you can see how the questions are structured, and you may also see that the specimen paper answers may be a little wrong or may not have the same consistency with what is in the syllabus and those are things that we have to face so the reason i'm going through it is to make sure you understand how to answer a question and what the examiners really see when they are trying to correct it so cape it unit one this is the specimen paper examinable from 2022 i'll be learning something right Module 2 now, um, an information system that can be described as a collection of components to produce proper quality information. Explain two important roles of users as components of an information system. Okay, users. This is our previous question. I showed it. They bring this question before somewhere. This is our, our question as repeated. Okay, users could be um, expert users and then regular users. All right. Expert users. They should know how to configure some of the settings within the system. They have um, moderate technical knowledge about how the system works. Regular users. They should know how the system expected to work and report on any inconsistencies found in the system. Yeah, that should get you your four marks. Define the term human computer interface or HCI, the way in which um, users navigate and operate a computer system to get desired outputs. I just trying to get desired out outputs there, but you know, because it's sounding cute, sounding like a nice answer. Describe three parts of a ATI. What? The three parts of a human computer interface. I've never heard of this in my life. What are the three parts of a human computer interface? They can't be asking about input process output. Human computer interaction. There is a input, there is a response, there is a prompt, there is an input, and there's a response. All right, let's go with that. Common sense is telling me that you must have a prompt. You must have a response. You must have an input. And then you must have a response. I hope I'm correct. I would love to see what this answer has could be anything i prompt the user is prompted to give an input into the system the input the user gives an input using touch or keyboard or just by input device and then the system responds to the user input with the appropriate output example sound Ooh, you know yeah really you're correct why was i overthinking this wow I really overthink, overthought thought this. Three types of HCI, yeah. Command line, menu driven, and um, GUI. That's easy, yeah. Okay, that's exactly what I want. Wait, why did I think it was harder than to describe three types of HCI? Did I read it wrong? Describe three types of HCI. Describe three types of HCI. Describe three. I think, I thought it was saying describe three parts of a HCI. Where did I see parts? Wow. Okay, come on, line. User inputs. Um, by typing the commands into the console. Menu driven, predefined options are given to the user. GUI, windows, icons, menus, and pointers are used to give the user options. Right, okay, that was way easier than I thought. All right, Harry is the senior systems administrator in a large organization. The computer network comprises several servers. Each one in a major system. His job requires that he and his team operate the computer systems quickly to resolve, troubleshoot any problem in the shortest possible time. Identify one type of VCI that will be most appropriate for the job that Harry is required to do. All right, systems quickly and resolve troubleshoot problems in the shortest possible time. It is command line because um, once they know the commands, they will be 
executed very quickly. Explain what type of network Harry could use to remotely access the computer network. He could use a VP, an uh, extranet. You could either say extranet or VPN because they both provide a, an external connection to the internal network. Yeah. <laughs> Let's compare. They said, oh, all right, they have users, rows of users as a component. Users provide input into the system via various devices. Users receive output. Users monitor the system to detect problems or provide the solutions for decision making or feedback. Um, I broke it down to expert users and regular users because those are the two types of users. So they should know the system was expected and give, report any inconsistencies found in the system. Expert users, they will be able to to check the system to see if it's working properly yeah okay cool yeah that would count but they just have users on a whole but i believe the syllabus separates users into regular users and expert users yeah the syllabus does do that part b the section of software defines how it interacts the way in which users navigate and operate a computer system to get desired outputs section of software that defines how in a user interacts with or responds to the computer okay cool we got that command line right instructions or commands menu driven why didn't it put gui oh they did put gui yeah gui yeah command line menu driven gui but d they should use command line because they'll be able to access the computer system faster and oh they went out deeper anyhow no they have multiple options they could choose one they have virtual private network provides a faster and secure connection to the computer network all right we have that cool good next next number four computer networks help businesses organize their resources for maximum use and effective management an organization wishes to configure a network of five computers and one printer in each department draw a diagram to represent a network topology that would allow the computers and printer to be connected in such a way that a failure of any one of the computers that connection will not affect all right so this is connected anyway so that a failure of any one will not affect that is a star network for sure there are five computers and one printer in each HR department. So we put in a switch in the middle. They say anything about the internet and that kind of stuff? No. All right, five computers. One, two, three, four, five. Computer one, computer two, computer three, computer four, computer five. Then you need to have a printer and then they want you to have a... As well, five computers and one printer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a star. That's a star. Mm -hmm. Looks good to me. Part two, identify the topology drawn in A and state why it would be able to prevent a network failure. It's a star because um, each computer is connected to the switch TCH independently from the others. Independent of the others. Yeah, that's what I should say. Independent of the other. Hmm. Part B, a major concern facing individuals and companies is the security of the IT systems and data. Explain following steps. Encryption is um, formatting the data with a specific pattern that only the sender and receiver can understand. All right, that's good there. Authentication, that is the use of a username and password to verify that the person accessing the accessing the files is authorized to do so right as authentication distinguish between logical access control and physical access control measures give one example of each okay logical access control gives the user and uses only computer based programs to manage the access to file and to data and information example uh antivirus while physical access control uses some sort of um, tangible deterrent to restrict access example a lock and e tada i have a lot more space to write but i don't think that they you really need to use all that space on to their answers now see what they give us 
see if I agree, if I disagree, or if I made a mistake. Number four. All right, they said star, right? Good. So we have a star. I didn't really make it like a star, but all five of them there, they have a switch in the middle and they have a printer. Cool, cool. Five marks. So yeah, we said star because all data is passed through the device on our network, so it's not dependent on inter computer connections for communication. Yeah, basically, yeah, if the all of them are independent. Cool. For encryption is coding or scrambling of information that can only be decoded by the sender or receiver. Okay, cool. Authentication is an individual company that allows access the user username or password, right? Good, no issues there. Logical access control measure, it's what? Oh, physical is tangible or device that is used. Logical access control is access is reduced through procedures and security principles, limited privileges and segregation duties. Now nah, man. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. All of those big words, you really don't need to, like, yeah. Which child going to, is going to write procedures and security principles, limited privileges, and segregation of duties? Oh. It's software. It's literally software. Yeah, logical is passwords, encryption, antivirus software. Yeah, yeah they had to accept software up to computer based programs. I do not agree with the logical access control explanation. That's, that's been a little too extra. CXC, that's been a little too extra. Right, so of course, thanks for watching. You made it to the end. If you're looking for Cape IT classes that you want me to teach, you could check us out at education.makeitsimplett.com and you will see all the different packages that we have for Cape IT classes. And of course, you could always come back to this YouTube channel and there'll always be free videos here to explain different things to you. But if you want dedicated classes that will explain certain things to you and make sure you understand the syllabus inside out, then check us out. Education.makeitsimplett.com You'll see Cape IT and we have a various um, set of classes from crash courses all the way down to full-on classes with assignments and IA assistance and paper through assistance. So you can check that out, uh, make it simple, tt.com.